Fala Cavalos, beleza? Eu sou o Guabai. Hey, this is Ben Pekulski from the Muscle Intelligence Headquarters talking about overcoming bad genetics. The first question I want to pose to you is, why do you think you have bad genetics? Most people say, you know, I have bad genetics because I'm fat. Most people think I have bad genetics because I, mean, I don't build muscle easily. Or maybe it's because, you know, I look at carbohydrates and I put on body fat. Or maybe I know someone else that puts on muscle faster than I do. Does that mean you have bad genetics? My response to that is no. Most of you can build some degree of muscle. And I'll admit, there's obviously a varying ability person to person to build muscle. Some people can build a tremendous amount of muscle, some people can build a small amount of muscle, but the reality is we can all build muscle, but what you're missing is those small intricate steps that happen in the beginning. Laying the foundation for building muscle starts in your youth, starts in athletics in youth, or starts in coordination. If you're not very coordinated, your ability to contract and stabilize is gonna be diminished. So unfortunately, if you're someone who wasn't athletic as a child, you're gonna have a harder time coordinating muscle, but that doesn't mean you have a harder time building muscle. So hear, the, hear me out on this. Um, the first step you're gonna need to do is you need to learn how to do these movements. If you have to think about these exercises, you have to think about stabilizing, you have to think about how to execute for your body type, your ability to focus on work, on effort, is gonna be uh, take a back seat to your ability to, or to your necessity to have to focus on the exercise. So if you have to focus on execution, if you have to think about what you're doing, if it doesn't feel right to you, it feels a little uncoordinated, one, you're probably not going to enjoy it. We don't enjoy things we're not very good at. Two, you can't really focus on working hard. You're not going to see the results you want. So there needs to be a, a foundational period in the beginning, what I call a standardization phase, meaning the first four weeks of your training or the next four weeks of your training needs to be focused on how can I create the greatest amount of tension for, and load through my muscles for my body. There's very specific exercises that are going to work better for you than work for me. So here's an important realization. You don't have bad genetics. You can build muscle. You just need to optimize your training first. So stop doing the things that everyone else says to do. Stop arbitrarily working hard and start working smart before you're working hard. I've put together a great list of videos to help you guys set up for your body type and overcome this BS argument around, hey man, I don't have the genetics to build muscle. You may not have the genetics to be Mr. Olympia, or you might. You just don't know how to do it yet. So let me be the one to teach you the steps. So it's going to start with learning how to set up for your body, learning how to stabilize and eliminate extraneous movement. If your body can't stabilize your body, your nervous system is going to downregulate your ability to contract muscle. So set up for your body, stabilize, initiate with the working muscle, simplify it, SSI, have an awesome day, and stop using the excuse of genetics because it is just that, an excuse. Click the link to check out those videos.